as I said today, we, our economy was one of the 10 worst performing economies in the world. Our debt to the GDP ratio has put us seventh highest in the world. Barbados is the eighth most expensive place to live in the world. Our unemployment rate, this is the official unemployment rate of 17.2, which does not include those not looking for work, tells us that our actual unemployment is much higher than that. I'm not going to speculate on that, but I know how many people are not working. Our economic performance has been abysmal. And the only thing we can point to compared to other countries in the Caribbean are those at the helm of this ship of state. We need sound strategies and good economic managers. All of the that it's linked to the pandemic situation. Now again, Barbados' economy, COVID is global. We were one of the worst performing. So all them other 180 countries had the same COVID, but managed better than us. So we have to wake up to reality that mediocrity and say we have done the best when we know we haven't is not good enough. We cannot keep using PR and spin to explain our inequalities and inadequacies of the current regime. That's it. There is nothing going on in our economy and the government has not presented anything to the people of Barbados other than a heavy fight for a borrowing to explain how they plan to take us out of this. As I said, the situation with the global corporate tax rate has suggested that we are again out of sync with the world community. Leadership on our economic front in Barbados is a lot, leaves a lot to be desired. It's unfortunate because we are all paying the price for that. Our children and their children will continue to pay the price for that.